about uh, five years ago I did a Warrior and it uh, didn't work out I had to take all the things apart and I had this shield that I made for it and uh, did all this work on the back of it which uh, is just incredible and it's a concave shield so it's a war shield and I find it fits this piece perfectly so I'm going to put this onto his uh, arm here and uh, after I get done with the arm that will save me a ton of work. I think what I'll do is work on his moccasins for now. I've gone through uh, some reference material on, online and uh, I found uh, this on uh, the shape of a Lakota uh, pair of moccasins. Now the shape of the moccasin is a lot, uh, means a lot. Uh, trackers could track a uh, set of moccasin footprints tell you what tribe it was and all that stuff by the shape of the uh, sole of the uh, moccasin. So one of the key things I wanted to do was to make sure I got the uh, shape of the moccasin right. All right, so I got to match the uh, shape of the uh, moccasin and I will do that with whatever clay I've got soft right now. Well, first thing I need to do is get the width of the, the foots, the feet, the feet to be the same as well as the length of the feet. Now if you remember correctly, this foot, the heel is up in the air, so anyway, I need something to outline the moccasin. And I'm going to do that with this. Now, I'll do the same thing over here. You go from the heel to the toe, heel to the toe, there we go, right there. I want the same width. There and there, got it. And so now I just need to outline it. Okay. width and let's check the length one more time and the right length all right now I just have to fill in this in the moccasin a little bit I'm going to use this mannequin here to, to uh, get my feet right. I remember when I was a kid playing my uncle's Cool shit up in uh, Colville, Utah, when I was back in the 50s. 
and uh, in his tool shed on his farm were a pair of uh, beaded moccasins. And the leather was all dried out, it was flat. Uh, the toes were curled up, you know, just a flat piece of leather. And it just because nobody took care of the moccasins for years. And it basically just sat in that tool shed. And I'm certain it was Ute Indian moccasins because uh, that was the type of Indians that were around at that time in that uh, area. Uh, so it was kind of cool. I, it's, I've always remembered those moccasins. I just uh, just keep thinking about it and I wonder if, who ended up with them. If anybody. Probably still in that tool shed.
Alright, I didn't film a lot of the uh, mocks and making, and, and the reason why is because, quite honestly, it's boring. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least sketch this bone in, or muscles in, of the uh, arm here, and get this started so that tomorrow morning when I come in, I can uh, start working on it uh, right away and uh, get into this uh, whole thing here. I've got to figure out how I'm going to attach that shield to this piece so that it'll stay there for the full time that it's going to be showing down in the gallery. So, I'm going to do all that. I'm uh, just basically roughing in the hands right now. And uh, I got him holding his blanket in this hand and pulling it across uh, his front and uh, and I'm just uh, like I said just sketching everything in real quick I gotta be careful again not to make him look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And so that's what I'm basically doing. That's not good. Uh, moving on me because it's going to be transported along about 800 miles down to uh, Park City, about 150 to, uh, or I'll go just about 200 miles to Jackson Hole, and then they're going to load it up into a truck and take it down to Park City, Utah. thing I need is to have this, the armature start moving around on me. Because there's a lot of weight on this now. It's about probably 50 pounds of clay on this thing now. By the time I'm done, it will be a lot more. Let's review what I've done today. Today I've uh, finished off his moccasins, um, filled out uh, the leggings, you know, just a matter of putting clay on and uh, filling them out. Start at the back uh, and the arm. And that's going to work out good, I think. And uh, what took the most time were those moccasins, getting them just right. Um, the shield, I'm not even sure where I'm going to put it yet. I might just have it hanging off his back. I don't know. Or have him holding on to it and having it hang down there. That might be what I'll do. to cover up that arm. I think that arm's going to look good. And he would have a loop up here to hold on to the shield. And then a, 
have the bow and quiver here. So I think that's all going to look good. See, I've already got the back of the shield done. That's what takes time, is doing all that kind of detail work. And I've got that detail work done. I didn't use that, I used this one. If you're going to use a, a serrated edge tool, make sure you use the same one every time you do something. I'll come back tomorrow, like I said, and get this going. I just wanted to try that out before I went home. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.